Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Alright, let's double check that. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core private to lobby? No, huh. I thought you were glitching there for a second. No worries. Let's head back to the lab. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. I imagine it is. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. S so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Good lesson. Before we talk to Anne again, is there anything I can... No, it doesn't look like it. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... ...it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it.
Hey, loco. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I did it watching James. Commander, you see this thing? This is great. Really, James? Ouch. Hey, Edie. The husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. If nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or I don't know, whatever. I think it's best to, to just destroy it. Deliver this to your cabin. All right, just don't tell anybody. Nice. You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? <sighs> Focus, James. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right, just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs. But he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Ed, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. All right. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. This is pretty gutsy. I don't know about guts. <sighs> Crazy, maybe. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Man. Anne. Anne, are you...
You all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes, but it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. Commander, I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. Excellent stuff. All right, so we've got three systems to investigate. I think we're done here. Yep, we're good. Excuse me. I couldn't remember if keeping the process going kills Anne or not, so I decided to end it there. All right. Going for Leviathan. You're twenty five percent. I need to remember that. Oh, you're one hundred percent good. Extra systems. Signal confirmed. All right, what do we have here then? Husk neural map. Interesting. Well, on the plus side, there's no Reapers in this area, it seems. Yet. Uh, nothing here. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's that top left one, so we'll go over here first. Maybe not, it might be this one actually. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Alright, here we go then. Let's get this out of the way and then we'll finish off this system. Tally, Garrus. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. Pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder what we're going to find down there. A Reaper killer. That's what Bryson's task force was calling it. Doesn't look like it wants to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Right. But then what? It plays pretty rough, and if it is a Reaper... I don't know that's the kind of help we want. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, 
then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Oh, what a lovely planet. That's possible. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Shit! That's not good. Everyone all right? My suit's intact. Maybe a few bruises under it. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Look at all this. How many have been stranded here by that pulse? Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Uh, the whole will hold, that's what they say. Whatever God watches over ESO prospectors came through for us. Despite uh, a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces, uh, displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle, what downed us in the first place? Christian says it wasn't lightning, it was some kind of pulse, a directed energy weapon. Seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic, the whole bloody ocean is silent. Tonight the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. I'm guessing it didn't go well. Any idea how old these are? At CSAC they always said the key to decomposition was scavengers. Without them, it's quite Attempts to get airborne have failed every time. The damage done by the pulse, it could, uh, if you could call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be able, be, uh, doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies. And I think that's why the captain orders us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. It keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapons to try blasting, to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like looks like a fish. I wish I were an optimist. Explains why no one gets out of here. Uh, the rations will hold us two days more. Brooks sent a drone to the bottom, but it came up with bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but Romeo and Molins tried it anyway. They haven't stopped vomiting, and their dehydration wastes fresh water. We sent Kunshin's team on a raft over the wrecks. They came back with spheres, some kind of organic-based alien technology, and nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers, but if they had helped the other ships figure out what happened, uh, they wouldn't be here. Now would they? It's getting cold. Uh, Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kunchin and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They showed no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I am no longer in control. I held a funeral to keep order. The crew have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He will be tethered uh, in the water to attract scavenging animals. 
that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three days, within three of this planet's days, we cut him loose as for water burial. We've sealed the Tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. Damn. As the captain gets it now, he tried to lock himself in the ship, screaming that he had to fix it. We were gentle, one person for each limb. We let him rest on the sphere. Sometime in the middle of the night, he came around, and now he agrees. We won't leave, why would we? I think this would be my last entry. Everyone here understands me. If anyone finds us, they might feel differently, but that can be fixed in time. It's so good not being hungry anymore. Yikes. Survival at any cost? I recognize a few of these ships, but only from historical records. They're ancient. Um, excuse me, I need ammo. What happened to almost there? Had a development commander, fixing it now. I have the hurricane. I need ammo. Thank you. Coming.
Oh, I see eight. All right, Steve, what's going on, mate? Are you there? Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Can the Norman be extracted? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater has not corroded, you should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. Time's wasted. Hold on a second. Are we actually considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I guess we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. I got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Nice. That was maybe a waste, but I don't care. Give me. Oops. Let's go, bitches! Go then, no turning back now. All right, Commander, let's get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Listen, Chip, I'm all for crazy ideas, but this one's off the charts. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal, systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. 
Shepard, just... I'll be fine. Oh, Tally. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. I can understand why people are terrified of the ocean. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Yikes. <laughs> I don't think the mech was designed to handle these kind of pressures. But I don't I don't even think we have anything today that could handle going that deep down, do we? Not sure if you can read me out there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Oh, good. We get to go down even further. Shutting down all non critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back on the surface. Can't worry about that now. Nope, oh, we're down here now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. directly below me. Looks like the final drop. God damn. That must be bloody terrifying. It's Leviathan. Hey, big boy. Then 
What are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. <coughs> Ed. <coughs> What's happening? galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. For the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it Harbinger. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the four races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle from the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of bombs that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined. 
refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. What's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. You will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. Oh, there's more! They're fighting where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Hell yeah! Bye, Leviathan. It's been surreal. Careful you don't get the bend, Shepard. Uh, I could have still used that. We don't.
Shepard, wake up. He's freezing. <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. Kira, don't do that to me. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Anne. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's a part of this war now. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Excellent stuff. Under pressure. Yeah, just a tad. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Right, let's go have a chat with everyone. Now that Leviathan is all out the way and dealt with. Got their trainer. The messages. All right. Cerberus is going to have a hard time recruiting now. Commander. So the Reapers did not fully exterminate their creators. That suggests they are fallible even on large or long-term scales. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. All right. Uh, crew. Uh, who's here to talk to? We are Garrus, Caden. Alright, Caden, how you doing? Nice to have everyone back on dry land, so to speak. You know, whenever we discover something amazing like that, I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. Hey, Shepard. All right, that was short and sweet. All right, Garrus, how you doing? Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Never really thought we'd get any answers. It doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Not right now. God, I just want to chat. Why does no one want to talk to me? Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has 
not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Hit. I can only imagine talking to something so huge, so alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. Hello again. All right. Nothing too major there. I'm sure, Tally will have some comments. Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. I thought I'd lost you down there. Don't do that again. Not even to forge an alliance with a damned Reaper killer. You're worth more than that. Good to see you. Alright. I knew she'd have some comments. She's not happy. Hey, Jaffik. I have studied your human religions, Commander. Your devil and his fall. Leviathan and its kind deserve the same fate. They once unleashed a plague that has haunted all of our history to this day. I say their own hell is the abyss you found them in. One I hope they never escape from. I mean, he's got a point. I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. Not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It keeps you hard. You need hard to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. You take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. Good to see you, Commander. Alright. Hey there. Dog. Hey, not sure what happened there, but the dog's having a fit. Vega, how you doing? With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. At least Anne's still around to see her dad's work finally pay off. 300 years it took to take back the quarry and homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I'm sure we all are, James. Alright. Let's, uh, wrap this system up. I haven't quite finished here yet. No. Signal confirmed. Anything good? Dextro rations. There you go, Tally. There's some food you can eat. Successful. All right, and that's the cradle one hundred percent done. Ooh, that was close. All right. Uh, which one was twenty five percent? It was one of these two. One of these. Ah, there you are. Right. I am ridiculously low on fuel. Which one of you has a fuel depot in it? Ah, perfect. Uh, 
Wait. Head over to you. Okay, you're you are where the fuel was. I found something. Okay, so we've got fuel here. Yeah. We've got some salvage. Right. Cool. Well, at least that's done now. Where's the... There it is. Okay, we are all good, so now, well in the next episode at least we'll uh, go see what Miranda wants or needs, we still need to go to Anderson's, Anderson's apartment, As we head to the Presidium now, then we're ready to go see Miranda in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.